hello guys welcome back to the channel so for today's video i'll be actually installing these moldings these moldings are specifically only for the rcf but i just thought that it would look really cool on the is and i'm gonna go ahead and install it on my car now so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like these are the moldings so it's kind of like an extension to the rear bumper so this specifically right here is for the left side before i show you guys the whole mock-up it does say the paint code right here so which is 803 so that is actually the paint code on my car and my car is uh, pearl white with the three stage paint color code and if you guys are curious where to find your paint color code there should be like a little sticker behind the, the driver door and with the barcode and you'll see like a c slash tr with the whole numbers and it should be pretty much the paint color code so for me again it's the 083 because mine is the pro white so the only thing that i noticed with this is that it does have like a kind of like a latch where i think the rcf rear bumper actually has like a screw or some sort of like tap where you're supposed to like put something through here and then i'm not sure if the rear RCF also has like a hole where this gets inserted through so basically say like I will have like a little hole right here and then some sort of like latch around here but I'm not gonna do that to my rear bumper because I'm not trying to make any holes so instead I'm gonna just go ahead and break these so I'm gonna go ahead and break this one and then just break this one as well so really the only thing that's gonna be like pretty much holding these moldings is just the 3M tape so the reason why I got these moldings is that I'm not sure if you guys can see this but my rear fenders are actually rolled and pulled so reason why is because my rear my previous set was actually like more aggressive so it kind of needed to be extended a little bit more so that's the reason why these rear fenders are actually pulled before it was actually pulled the fender would actually like hug in so it was like a kind of like a weird way it wouldn't like go straight down it'll actually like hug in so if you if you were to like run more aggressive tires or tire specs it'll actually like try to rub against the tires since these fenders are actually pulled so i'm not sure if you guys can see that body line where it this part is extended and then right where, where it meets the rear bumper it just goes flush down so i think the molding should like give it like a little bit more like a cleaner look so this part will kind of be extended extended and once it gets to the rear bumper it'll be it'll still be extended but kind of like flow a little bit down easily i do plan on running more aggressive tires in the rears so my plan is to probably run 275s or 265s on the rear so that's the reason why i got the moldings again just to make it look more cleaner and have like a meter setup on the rears there were actually like moldings where it actually went to the fender and also the rear bumper but there are more like extended ones kind of like more longer ones like it'll go all, all the way from here to here and then from the fender here all the way to here i thought that one looked clean but i just wanted to just go with the small little molding on the side i went ahead and broke the two tabs so that's one of them and then this right here so pretty much what i use is just a razor blade to pretty much cut it off it's really soft it'll just break off pretty easy it's not really hard so now it's just the 3m tape that's going to be pretty much just holding on to the rear bumper go ahead and show you guys a better mocking just before i wrap this and then install it and that's how it's pretty much going to look like so a little hard to see it but it's like perfectly on the rear bumper so there's no gaps or anything behind it and all so it's like exactly made for the is as well next thing now is to pretty much just wrap this up now and wrap the moldings so it's pretty much the color of the wrap that i currently have and pretty much now i have to do is just stick it up to the rear fenders right side is done now to the left side such an easy install probably one of the easiest installations i've ever done to this car just really just 3m tape just holding it and that's pretty much it <laughs> so yeah, they're looking clean now okay okay driver's side is done now day just goes by real quick so i'm gonna just get out of the driveway and then just pretty much just park right here just to show you guys a better lighting of how the real moldings look couldn't really get the best lighting on the street side so i just came right here just more open space just to show you guys how it looks but that is the 
driver's side and I'm just go around and show you guys the passenger side. That looks tough. So from the back, that's how it kind of like sticks out. So see how I was kind of like saying it? Like this sticks out. And then now the rear bumper just sticks out as well. So it's like more flush, just follows that pull that the rear fender has. And then it just falls down into the rear bumper. I'm pretty glad the RCF moldings actually fit the IS. I only said it because I just kind of like eyeballed it and just thought it would actually fit and of course it did. The only thing was just those two latches that was in the moldings and you just pretty much break it off. Oof, oof, oof. That is tough. Really can't wait once I get my wheels. That's gonna look a lot more tougher with the meteor tires on the rear and so as well with the fronts. So really can't wait how it's gonna look. Damn. It looks really good. Okay, okay. Another good angle right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this whole video installation. Again, this is a really easy install for me especially. And I'll go ahead and link, leave the link to the moldings in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.